Hi, I'm Tim Roble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. I'm here with Gordon and his son, Nathan, and he's gonna talk about this really neat gladiator uh, that I saw coming into King of the Hammers. Yeah, so uh, basically, uh, it's a 2020 uh, gladiator that we uh, bobbed the rear of it. Um, it's a moto-built kit. Well, let's move that way and just let's show this, because this is something that really caught my eye and it's kind of unique. I, I didn't even know of this. They make two different kits. They make an all steel kit and we went with an all aluminum kit. Um, basically, the entire box is all aluminum. It does have a steel steel bumper, um, but the kit itself is really nice, well built, thought out. Yeah, that looks 3 sixteenths aluminum. Quarter, quarter inch thick Oh, that's aluminum. quarter? Okay. Yeah, quarter inch. Everything's been all uh, powder, powder coated. Um, Absolutely and then we put beautiful. The, uh, stack out um, Milwaukee stuff. It works really good for what we do uh, camping and off roading. If anybody happens to know what brand lights those are in there, I'd like to know. I'd like to do that on the Humvee project. So, you talked about axles while we're back here. So, we got the yeah. Dana 60s. Yeah, they're the Ultra 60s. Um, and then it's running RPM. Uh, the, the, drag link gear, the cross link, yep. and then both of the, and these are anti-rock here. We'll get that on the sunny the side. Bar. The yep. sway bars are anti-rock with the anti-rock uh, front and back. And it looks and like you got the summit machine, yes, uh, the summit lower machine, links, middle, upper links. Yep. It's got the two and a half inch Fox uh, race reservoirs. Um, are the axles open, lockers in them? Oh uh, yeah, it's, these are the e, e lockers, okay. front and back. Um, it's got to be running a 538 gear with 40 Mickey tops and 40 inch tall tires. And I had them drive shafts front and back. Um, the drive yeah. shafts are definitely a must. You have to run those to run those axles. So that was a, a pretty good upgrade. And then we're running KMC grenade wheels. This is a moto built uh, front, uh, it's a front highliner fender, and that's to match the rear one. Okay, yeah, that and looks really this nice. right here is the Baja uh, light, LP9 lights, and then we put in what they call a, a, a S pod. This is the got it, I've seen the, the, those before. Yeah, and you can do what they call a light show. And go up there and look. It brings all the lights on at the same time. Oh wow! <laughs> we'll back up. That's kind of a cool. Yeah, definitely. Just a great looking uh, rig. What's the front bumper? The front bumper is Genrite. This is okay. the Genrite front bumper. Um, and the inner fenders are Genrite. Okay. Um, the truck I originally had everything to Genrite. They, an awesome company to deal with. Yep. Um, I just changed it up. When I changed the, the box, I decided to go with Moto Belt. Nothing against Genrite. They got the same quality. Um, it's just, you know, I went with Moto Belt front or the, the box, so I wanted to go with Moto Belt fenders. I'm and what are the blinkers that are in here? Um, you know what brand those are? Is that come, did that come with the? Uh... They came with Moto Belt fenders. Okay. I'm not sure huh. all that came. They put together a complete kit. Their kits are very the instructions right on down to having everything with the kit really good. And um, you said you had the uh, hydraulic steering up front yeah, also. PSC hydro assist steering. Um, yeah, and that, that's yep. this piece here. Yep. And this is RPM uh, one ton. This is all RPM. The all the link, links are all RPM. Just a wonderful, well built. Um, yeah, you could open it up. Love to see it. And I know the wind's not great, guys. And I haven't went to the wireless mics yet, but uh, those are coming up. I just saw this rig, and we just decided to do an impromptu video because it's just that cool. Basically, this is the uh, S pod. Okay. This controls the lights. Um, we put a K&N air filter system in, um, and then this is the PSC oil reservoir for the hydro. Hydro, yep. Um, but it's pretty, pretty much bone stock as far as the, the taser. We got the mini taser on it to control the shift, shift points. All right.
All right. Um, we just added these in. This is another moto mill um, part okay. that they, they, they offer um, the hood, hood loopers. That looks absolutely great. What a nice build. I saw that coming down as I was driving in and waved at you. I was like, that is such a great looking rig. Yeah, I appreciate that. First well, time out. Oh, and I just see a uh, front uh, camera. Oh yeah, got front camera. Everything's all, you know, on the factory. We run the low ramps uh, trail navigation system inside. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's our, the second year. We, we came here in 2001 with the truck and I built the truck, me and my son did, um, with 40, the uh, Dana 40 axles front and back. And um, we just had to, we went to the bigger axles just because stuff was, you know. Getting broke? Yeah, we were breaking yep. stuff, but anyhow. Yeah, so this is the first time with the, the new build. Awesome. And so far it's been great. We've been all over out here on the trails and just kind of enjoying our time. Anybody that you want to thank for the build? Yeah, uh, uh, Bobby and uh, Chris, uh, what they call it, uh, Cooper from Motobuilt. Okay. Uh, for all of their their help and assistance, with, you know, putting the kit together. Uh, and those guys are really the key people that help me with what we've got here. Um, other than that, my son he's helped me put, assemble the whole thing and build it, and he's been able to enjoy it with me. All right. Well, that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you. You guys got questions and comments. I'll do the best I can do to uh, chime in and uh, answer anything you got about the Jeep. But I just saw this thing here and I thought, you know what? This is uh, definitely worth uh, taking a tour around. So what do you guys think? That's going to be it for now. If you guys like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and comment. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Rubble, and I'll catch you here next time.